How to connect Google Analytics to Anaten step by step. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to connect Google Analytics with Anaten for beginners. So in this video, we are going to do, we will walk you through how to set up your Google Analytics API. As you can see, I have created a credential and set up an API. Now, the second, which is how to create credential and connect your Google Analytics account to annotate using the built-in node. After that, we will test a simple workflow to pull real data. And we will try a second method as well, which is HTTP request. In the second method, we will show you how you can set up or connect Google Analytics to Anaten using HTTP request. So it is a better version because it gives you more freedom to pull in data. Now, once it connected, you can do a lot of things. Let's take a preview. Now let's execute this workflow. As you can see here, our a node here has been connected successfully. Now let's do with the same thing with HTTP request. Now execute this step. First, it will throw the error because it has uh, some problem, but we will fix that too. Now, uh, first thing first, what we have to do is check requirements. First, we need a Google Analytics account. Uh, it is preferably use GA4. Now we need ac access to the Google Cloud Console to create credential. Then we need a running instance of Anaten. It can be self-hosted or cloud version. If you want cloud version for 15 days, link is in description. Then last, we need a uh, basic access to your properties data in GA. So let's get started. First thing first, what you have to do is get your get back to your workflow. Now I will create a new workflow over here. So let me save this. Now first we will uh, create or connect using a uh, Google Analytics node. So now let me give a second. Create a workflow. Now search for Google Analytics into Anaten. And select the node. Now you will get two options whether you want to choose a trigger or action. I will choose a get a report. Now what you have to do is to set up a credential. Now click on this a credential to connect with and click on this create new credential. Now if you don't know how to set up credential, uh, you follow this step. But if you know how to set up credential, just skip this part. So first thing what you have to do is copy this auth redirect URL. Copy this auth redirect URL and search for console.googlecloud. And now we will create auth screen over here and set up a credential for an edit. Now, as you can see here, this is the URL. Just simply click on it. Now, so I have opened this Google Cloud. In the top, you will find this open project picker. Now, if you are new here, so you will find this create new project. Now, I have already four projects which are created over here. Now, what I will do, I will just simply create a new project and give it a name. Let's say, Analytics. Give the name and click on this create project. Wait for a few seconds to create a project. Now, select your project which you have just created. Now, as you can see in the top, we have selected our project. Now, click on these three lines and from there you have to access the API services. First, we will enable the API services. Then we will create auth consent screen. From then we will set up a credentials. Now go to library and search for Google Analytics. Now from here, you have to uh, go Google Analytics Data API. Click on it. And from here, you have to enable this API service. So it is basically give access report data to your Anaten. So enable this API key. Wait for a few seconds to enable. Now, 
it has so as you can see here the google analytics data api is enabled now what you have to do next is set auth consent screen click on this auth over here now click on this get started button now first we will have to enter the app name for example i will enter anaten then we have to enter our user support email then hit the next button yeah from here you have to select the audience i'm selecting the external because it gives the available to any test user with the google account now click on this next over here you have to enter the contact information so i will just copy my personal email address and put over here and click on this next and finish it and create this app now we have successfully created auth now first we have uh, we have created a auth configuration has been created now we have to set up our auth client click on this create auth client now from here you have to choose web application type then i will just give a default web client one and in if you scroll down a little bit you will find this authorized redirect url just go back to your annotate and copy this auth redirect url and paste into in this section now click on this create after pasting it now as you can see we got the client id now we got the client id paste in client id into client id section we need a client secret so, so in the client section select the app we just which you have created now scroll down and copy this client secret paste this client secret into client secret section now just sign in with the google now select your account okay uh, before uh, signing you have to publish your app go to audience and click on this publish app and hit the confirm button now let's sign in again select the account click on this advance ignore this warning and then you have to click on this go to anaten.cloud and save and then so give all the access which are necessary and click on the continue so as you can see here uh, we have just successfully connected our google analytics account to anaten so this is how you can uh, connect uh, let's do some extra thing over here now first uh, from in the property you have to add a pro property id now you have to select resource as a report operation get property type is google analytics 4 now in the property you have to add the id now click on this buy id now you have to add a stream id over here so how you get that so I'm assuming that you have already created an uh, analytics account. If you haven't created, just create an uh, account. Now go to admin and click on this property overview or property details. You will get this property ID. Just copy this property ID and paste into here. Give double colon and paste this ID and again close this colon. Now, by default, you have chosen the fixed. Click on the expression and add this double colon after your ID. Now, after that, as you can see, it green. Now, in the matrix, you have to select the total user. Then you have to set dimension to split by. Now, click on this execute this step. Let's see if it works or not. Now, node executed successfully. It means it is working. Now go to setting and always output data. Now again execute this step. So node has been executed successfully. So yeah, this is how you can connect a uh, Google node with Anaten. So once it is connected, you will be able to automate and fetch the traffic stats and send them to Slack, email or database. You can monitor KPIs like bounce rate or top performing pages or you can create custom dash dashboard or trigger action based on your website analytics. 
now let's go uh, let's explore the second meta now just i will delete this node and add this http request now uh, into method you have to select the post now in the url section i have given you the google document in the description what you have to do is just paste that uh, google url and into your http request now if you see closely i have given an instruction that uh, you have to upload this your property id here just remove this go back to google analytics copy your id paste here now let's again now what you have to do is uh, just set up a header go to header and in the name you have to enter content type and then you have to add the value is like application json now it basically tells the annotation server that the input will be coming in the form of json now what you have to do is just copy this json code and click on the send body now scroll down choose json and specified body you have to choose using json just paste it in this that code into this section now next is you have to set up your credential now in to authentication you have to choose generic credential type and click on this auth to api now right now i have created already unnamed credential so i don't need to create it again but if you want to create new credential just simply click on this create new credential first what you have to do is uh, enter the authorization url which i have already added into this google doc just copy this authorized uh, url and paste into this section then we have to enter the access token url i have already added that to set up you can directly set up the access token url just copy this and paste it into your annotation now we need client id and client secret which we have copied from here so if you go into clients and copy your app auth2 you will get this client id and client secret just copy them and paste one by one then we need scope just go into uh, google doc copy this scope and paste into your uh, node now into authentication choose body so after choosing you have to click on the save and it will connect now i will just close this now i have already selected my credentials now what i'm going to do is just execute this step so while i was executing this step the error was occurred but it fixed by this ai assistant by anata so as you can see in the output it works well it means it is working and the google analytics has been successfully connected with anaten and with the node as well so in the right side you will see the error now so that's it for today's video and if you find this video helpful then subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching